hi guys welcome back and if you're joining me for the first time welcome now i've been missing for a little bit i do hope that you guys can forgive me and understand so this is the look that i'm going to be sharing with you guys today it's super easy perfect for the holidays and i really hope that you guys recreate it if you do go ahead and tag me on my instagram it's just keisha capers one i think but i'll link it in my description so you can check that out and without further ado let's get straight into the video the palette that i'm using today is this palette right here as you can tell it kind of matches my blouse i didn't even realize that and i'm also going to be trying out some new brushes these are the brushes i got during the black friday sale from zoeva i didn't get their brush sets because i wanted some specific brush you know in the set you get some brushes that you really don't need so i didn't want to waste my money and do that so i got three of the 231 i have two of the two of the 228 and i also got two of the 227 i just put the ones that are the same in the same packaging but they do come with their separate packaging i'm going to start off with my brow bone and my inner tear duct first i don't have any small brushes like this in the new brushes that i bought so i'm going to be using my sigma brush this one is a number five brush is their lip brush when you don't set the concealer you don't want to start off by blending you want to just start off putting down the shadows by just tapping right where you have the arch and now i'm going to use that same shadow and go in the inner tear duct just like that now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start trying out these brushes this is a lux crease brush 228 i'm gonna start off with my transition shade you want to make sure that you don't have any creases before you start blending because it's just gonna set that way so then i'm going right above my crease and i'm just trying to place the color where i want it at this point i'm not blending right now so i'm just tapping to set the concealer in place and this brush is really really soft like i barely can feel the brush on my skin now i'm going to start to blend out the edges i'm just going back and forth with the brush just to soften up the edges and make sure everything is just blending seamless okay pretty satisfied with that right there and i'm pretty satisfied with this brush as well like really satisfied this is beautiful Next, I'm going to go ahead and try another one. This is the Lux Petite Crease. So it's much smaller than the Lux Crease. So that's the difference between them both right there. So you can see the bristle on this one is much longer than this one, but they both come like straight up and to a point, which I love. So I'm going to go in with something a little bit more deeper directly in the crease with this one guys no joke like I've never blent my eyeshadow this easy before these brushes are ridiculously soft and they blend the eyeshadows so nice so I just blend that up into the previous color to give it a nice transition and then I'm going back just to make sure that I don't lose the first shade that I put down. So I think I wanna go a little bit deeper than this shade right here. So I'm going to use Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm gonna use another one of the Lux 231. I bought three of them because I know I was going to need a lot of small detailed brushes. So I'm gonna go directly below that and that's gonna darken up that crease even more and again going back with the previous shade each time you put down a shade it's good to go over with the previous shade that you had down just to make sure that you're not really losing any of your colors and it also helps to blend the color that you just put down just a little bit easier and give you a nice transition so i think i want to do a little cut crease guys i didn't really plan for a cut crease but i think that's the way i want to go so i'm just going to go ahead and give myself a semi cut crease and i'm using the tart shape and this is in medium tan so as you guys can see if i leave my lid like this you really can't see the cut crease so i'm going to go a little bit above my natural crease 
just so when I put on the shadow, you'll be able to see the cut crease without me having to look down. And I'm using the same shades that I use in my crease. I'm going to use on the lid. I'm just going from the darkest to the lightest shade. So you just want to make sure that the colors are overlapping nicely where you have a transition and you don't see where one color starts and one stop. So you might have to, you know, go over your shadows like a few times just to make sure that you're getting the perfect transition. I'm going to go ahead and do a wing. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. That's my wing. And I'm going to put on some mascara. My eyelashes duo lash glue. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so finish with the eyes. I'm going to move into foundation. I'm going to use my foundation brush and just spread out the product and then I'll go in with my beauty blender and blend it out because this foundation is really, really thick. So this is just like one pump. Already done a review and a wear test. Perfect match. It does have a, like a slightly red undertone, but after I put on my concealer, you know, it works out beautifully. So that's it. I really don't even need to go in with my sponge. It's just a little bit more even on my skin and just flawless pretty much but you can still see it's a tad bit too red just a teensy wincy bit as jackie Aina would say with the tart i'm gonna take it directly under my eye and then just like two dots right there on my nose and i'm also going to use the kat von d right under the tart right there just put a little highlight there and i'm not gonna contour so i'm just gonna do some reverse highlighting I'm gonna use that same brush to blend out. I'm trying to keep the highlight right in the places that I want it. I don't want to get too crazy and blend it all over the place. Then it's just take up your whole entire face. You can see how this brush just gets into those corners that you really want to get into and keep the product right there without spreading it all over. And this is a Sigma foundation brush which is the f60 now i'm taking my sponge and i'm just going to spray it and just soften it up a little bit i'm just blending everything together to make sure i don't have any harsh lines now i'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted areas i'm using my huda beauty powder in kunafa then i'm going to take the fit me powder and i'm going to set everywhere else and for that i'm going to use a stippling brush this is the elf stippling brush now we're going to work on the bottom of the eye. This is a new pencil from Kat Von D. This is the anti-precision pres, pres, precision pencil. This is how it looks. Mix these two colors right here from the Juvia's palette. And this is the Madagascar palette. Because I want a little bit red and a little bit pinkish. Ooh, I think I may have over on it <laughs> right there so let me try and fix this guys yeah i kind of od with the blush so you don't have to do this much blush yeah this is the look that i want something really soft and just like a little flush of color to the cheek kind of overdid it here uh maybe use some of the air sponge powder and try and tone this down somewhere Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and spray, get my Jars Cosmetic Highlighter, and this is in Lucy. This is a tapered highlight brush from Sigma F35. Go right on my cheekbone there. Really don't need it on my forehead because I have a pretty big forehead. I really don't need to highlight it. I'm still kind of conflicted about the lips, guys. So I decided to go with Doozy for my lip, guys. It's a blotted lip from ColourPop. As you can see, it really doesn't show up that much. So I thought this was perfect. Still has that pink mauve look. Looks pretty nice with the look. 
I'm not sure if I should go with a gloss on top or I should just leave it as a matte. So you guys let me know if you rather the look just like this with the matte lip or I'm going to show you with the glass to see how it looks as well. And you can make a decision which you prefer and leave it in the comment section as well. I use my MAC lip glass, which is my favorite lip glass of all times. Lip gloss and steroid right now. I think they both look equally pretty. The gloss just kind of let it look a little bit more softer, I want to say. What do you guys think? And this is the look, guys. I, I see you guys asking me on my Insta stories, you know, about my wigs and stuff. If you guys are interested in me making a wig for you, then contact me on my email. It's in the description box. This is one of my units. It's a closure wig. It's not a lace front, but as you can see, you really couldn't tell if it's a lace front or not. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if you stay to the end of the video, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead, thumbs up the video. Don't forget to share with your friends and family. And also, if you're not already subscribed to the fam, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the red subscribe button right below this video. And while you're there, don't forget to turn on the notification bell because YouTube is not really sharing my videos too much. I don't know why. I don't know if it's an algorithm or what, but I would appreciate it so much if you go ahead and share the video. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.